All right. Hello everyone and welcome back to Wobble Dogs where I still have no idea exactly what's happening but I'm kind of in love with this. Apparently we're breeding our puppers. Oh good job Randy. Randy went ahead and he actually just dug himself a new hole. I'm gonna go ahead and plant some blue blanket flowers in there because why not. Uh, and I think he ate some dirt just then. Randy are you eating that dirt? I'm gonna go ahead and, and praise you for like going ahead and collecting dirt clumps. Apparently dirt clumps will actually provide some of the wonderful stomach bacteria that we will be able to help change the genetics of our dogs with, which is really cool. This is so different and it's so hilarious and it's just so much and I cannot wait to see where things go as we continue to try to mutate our little puppers. And speaking of which, Tiny is ready to go, you guys! Tiny is actually ready to pupate! Oh, jeez! Okay, so there's a dog inside this cocoon. There we go. And I think Tiny is gonna be pulled up. Oh my gosh, it's poop! Okay, we're gonna go ahead and clean that up even though it's like, apparently, that was from Bagel. Even though that's apparently edible and probably adds some sort of interesting stomach bacteria, we're not gonna let that happen. So we cleaned up some poop and we got <gasps> chicken nuggets. We can now dispense from the food, like treat dispenser. Huh. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe dispense some burritos cause I'm kind of curious about that. So, oh, what's going on down here? Randy? Randy and Bagel are fighting over a dirt clump. Look at you two, what are you two doing? I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and praise both of you. Cause you're like trying to get dirt clumps. I wonder what the, the percentage means for both of them. All right, Randy, good boy, good boy. I'm so glad you two are into like collecting dirt clumps. And meanwhile, Crumpet's just like dancing. Crumpet, you're being cute. Maybe if I praise you two, can I pet you guys? Hi! Does that help? Does that make you guys happy? Oh, somebody fell down. How you doing, Bagel? Well, Bagel, I, I think your legs need to work a little better than that. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm not exactly sure, like... <gasps> egg! Egg! We've got another egg! Oh my gosh! Okay, so the egg is actually evidence that we could, um, that we could put down for breeding so i guess that means that i could breed us another dog now okay let's take a look at the achievements maybe that's gonna help me out we need to have our puppers dig more holes and then i think we get like a new room maybe excavator we get trees <gasps> if we have puppies who dig holes we get more trees oh i need to praise them for digging then safekeeping is if i bury an object um, if we have the puppies eat dirt, we get the dirt eater thing and a mystery reward. Egg hobbyist, collecting 10 eggs. Egg maniac, collecting 50 eggs. Green thumb, so many plants. Both of those things sound like what I would do. Babies and more babies is if we hatch eggs. Oh no, pet a dog who hates it. Oh, so apparently some puppers can hate being pet. Opening capsules, keeping it clean, dry as a bone for cleaning up like puddles. If we clean up poops, we get like some sort of reward too. Let's see, researcher for researching different types of gut flora. Man, there's a lot of stuff to do. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what like all of this will do either. Oh, look at Crumpet. What is going on over here? Oh, bagel, good bagel, good bagel. Can I just like nonstop praise you for digging a hole? Because I would love to be able to have plenty of digging. Bagel, I'm gonna praise you for that so much. Okay, and I can plant seeds or I can bury objects. Can I bury like this, this thing right here? Let's see, clear, destroy. Meanwhile, they're, they're chewing on dirt clumps now. <gasps> Did Bagel just eat a dirt clump? I'm gonna praise Bagel for collecting and eating dirt. I know that seems really weird, but I think that that might do something to Bagel's- <gasps> Look! Bagel has a new gut bacteria! Wow! Okay, there's like four different types of gut bacteria. Candidia neutralia, a standard flora based nearly all dog forms, but it's plus, so I think it does maybe something interesting. So Bagel has unique gut. <gasps> Randy ate some of the burrito! And he, now he has clister, uh, Clistertrium lapidophilius. A beneficial flora often used to help acclimate dogs to cold weather climates. Wait, cold weather climates? If I feed them burritos, they'll get cold weather climates? Bagel. Um, 
I can tell him to speak, drop it. I'm gonna praise him. You eat that dirt bagel. That might that might help out with some interesting Randy, are you good? <laughs> might help out with some interesting gut flora. So here we go. New gut flora from burritos. Okay. And it helps to acclimate the dogs to cold weather climates. Okay, so that means that we're probably gonna try to breed bagel at the moment. And uh oh my gosh. <laughs> They're fighting over the the so they're complaining. All right, dirt clump, praise. All right, they're fighting over the dirt clumps, which are kind of hilarious. Um, but if those two are chilling, oh, Tiny's ready to hatch. Come on down, Tiny. I guess you can go ahead and, so Tiny has now muted into a juvenile. All right, all right. Not a lot going on over there, but now, <gasps> Tiny now has some new gut bacteria. Oh, I've really got to think about that. So we have the chrysalisia found in the cocoon droppings. And what does that do again? Uh, side effects aren't really known. Okay, I got to really think about that. Oh, look, and now Crumpet's ready to mutate. Okay, Crumpet. Onward. Go pupate, Crumpet. Exactly what that does, I have no idea, but good luck. So we'll send you, like, spiraling up. This is so weird. I adore this. All right, so let's actually come in. I should have one egg to incubate. There we go, one unfertilized egg. Oh no, I'm incubating a fertilized egg. I didn't mean to do that. Like it's just gonna be a default dog egg. I guess I can go ahead and put that guy, whoever's gonna hatch out of here into storage. This is so weird. Oh, Crumpet's ready to hatch. Heck, you're growing up fast, Crumpet. I'm gonna let you guys try to eat that cocoon. All right, Crumpet uh, still has normal leg color, normal ear color, but body color is becoming from light pink to kind of a slightly darker pink. And if we look, we actually do have longer legs on this dog by several percentage points in some degrees, but it looks like each leg is a different length. Oh no, we might end up with some dogs that have like really cattywampus legs. We're gonna need to be a little careful about that because the back legs did not grow evenly. All right, good luck on the whole walking thing, Crumpet. Uh, it was a bit of an accident. Meanwhile, how's Tiny doing? All right, Tiny, I'm just gonna give you a little praise. You doing good? Hopefully you're doing good. He's just rocking back and forth. All right, meanwhile, we have a dog we can hatch. It's a fresh dog! I'm actually gonna name this one, um, let's see, Vanilla, because it's just like default dog. And we're gonna go ahead and store a default dog, Vanilla. Meanwhile, Crumpet has some interesting doggy DNA. We have got some of the artificial stuff. Tiny has some of the chrysalis stuff. Uh, oh, golden blanket flowers, yes! Totally collecting those. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can command the dogs to come eat it! Randy, come eat this! Trying my best to eat the dirt clump. <gasps> Woo! And then I can clean up the like chrysalis puddles. No, no, I don't want, oh, so I'm, I'm finally figuring out how to get the dogs to like, oh, cool. Now Randy has like new, new dirt clumps. Oh, he got another dirt clump. Good job. He collected more dirt. I'm so proud of him. And I've got little flowers like popping up all over the place. Hopefully those will spread on their own. I'm gonna praise him again. Can I get him to eat the dirt? Let's see, Randy, eat, there we go. And now <gasps> Randy ate more of the dirt clumps. This is very exciting because it might mean a whole new type of, seriously, it's just dirt, <laughs> but it might mean a whole new type of gut flora that could do something interesting. Okay, that's really cool. So maybe we'll go ahead and try breeding Randy. Uh, and I think the only other adult dog we could breed Randy with is Bagel. Oh, a capsule! The dogs just randomly lay capsules? What on earth is inside of here? Boneyard carpet! That looks so cool! Randy, you just got like so many cool points for that. Randy, can I come and have you come and eat that? So I'm gonna have him go eat the burrito. Meanwhile, it looks like we're getting a lot of burritos from Bagel over here. Bagel, I think I'm gonna have you come over. Can you come like... Well, Bagel, you're 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 doing you stuff, Bagel. You do you. You do you. Um, all right, good. 
Randy just ate that burrito, so I think we're gonna have some really unique stuff. Let's mix together some of the dog breeds now. So we're gonna grab Randy and Bagel again. And they have a whole bunch of new types of DNA or in their gut. So let's try breeding them. We already, Crumpet is their baby, so we already tried breeding them before. All right, all right. So, if we continue to merge their DNA, what do we end up with? I'm just gonna keep going till we get something really unique. All right, let's crossbreed again. These puppies seem really affectionate. Look at these little guys. Go, go, go. Come on, anything super unique? Crossbreed. I mean, we've got really happy dogs with really funky eyes, actually, and tiny heads. All right, anything in here? We're gonna keep going. The st simulation stability of the dog breed starts going down, but I, I am gonna try to have faith in the gut floor here. Come on, oh, we're get we've got one that's a little pinker than the others. All right, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna see how far science can take us this time. All right, we'll do this one and this one. I want it. Oh, we have a red nose. This is not a drill. We have a red nose, you guys. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, we're gonna grab the one with the red nose and this like really jumpy, affectionate one. Come on, fingers crossed. Or should I just take the one with the red nose and like name him Rudolph? Maybe I should. All right, we're gonna try this again. Come on, red nose. Yes. We've got more red noses! Like, we're really gonna push this, like, pretty much as far as we can to see what happens if we keep crossbreeding. All right, so we've got some red noses going on, and we got some happy pups. We're getting low on the simulation stability, though, so we might stop soon. I'm trying to make sure we breed for these red noses. Okay, all right, I'm gonna select the final dog. Let's watch him for a second. <gasps> pink nose! Pink nose! Oh my gosh, pink nose and Barky! We ended up with some yapper dogs! I want this pink nose yapper dog. I'm gonna name her Peppermint. Now we just have to see... Were we successful? <gasps> yes, we were successful! Alright, maybe we got Peppermint. In fact, I'm gonna name her, her Peppermint, because Peppermint sounds amazing. Look at that! With little pink ears! That's so cool! Gosh, I wonder if it's just like how you feed them that really affects everything. Meanwhile, I'm gonna come over and have Tiny like come eat that chrysalis because I'm kind of curious about it. Tiny is antagonistic. Oh, good job, Bagel! I'm gonna praise you for digging. Meanwhile, I think I might have all in praise praise Crumpet for digging too. Maybe we'll be able to really like get all of these little ones. Oh, somebody laid a capsule! Yes! <gasps> Starfield wall, that's so pretty. And we completed a goal called Down to Earth. Oh my goodness. All right, dig 10 holes. We have an additional pen now. How is that gonna work, I wonder? Oh, like this. <gasps> Look at this, you guys. So then we can like make the dog house. Oh, this is so cool. We're gonna make the dog house. Um. Can I do this? And then you connect the dog houses. Connect starting wall. Uh, like this. Oh my gosh, it's like a giant. Look at this. <laughs> this is like a, a giant, um, gosh, like hamster house. What the heck? <gasps> what the heck? This is so cool. And then I can just like pop up here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um,. We can do like a dirt floor, boneyard floor, shapely carpet. I really like the dirt floor and then like encouraging them to dig a lot. We can do like little space look, candy bar wall, cloud wall. I kind of like the cloud wall right now. You know, just keeping it nice and open. We have an industrial fan that's apparently a toy. <laughs> I mean, why not? Why not? We'll just see if the puppies want to play with that or not. Um, we also should get down some food dispensers and an incubator over here there we go and then i guess i can move like which dogs go where oh now this room's kind of like dark huh all right whoops all right play there we go tiny seems to be doing good still a juvenile 
And there we go. Bird. Oh my gosh. Bird is actually a really cool name for this dog. I'm going to keep that instead of Puppermint. This is, this is, well, no, we'll go ahead. This is Puppermint. Peppermint, welcome to the family. You're so small. Hi. Oh my goodness. You're getting praise just for swaying back and forth. And Peppermint, oh, what's going on over here? The dirt patch. A little patch of land that's been dug away and cleared by a dog. Oh, look at this. They actually dug. Oh my goodness, Randy, I'm so proud of you. He just laid a capsule. Oh my gosh. And he got us some tech flip. Randy is such a good boy. He lay capsule. You get all the pets for that, Randy. Oh, oh, good puppers. So Randy has been helping us out a lot. We now constructed a den from dirt and we have the <gasps> jungle food dispenser. So there's even more different types of foods and you can make little dens for your dogs. Like what on earth? This is amazing. Also, I should probably get peppermint and peppermint's like genetics are already a little different. Because I think he inherited some, or she it inherited orange skin, long legs. Oh, no, no, that's just the flora effect. Uh, inherited some of the gut flora from its parents, which is so cute. All right, we're going to go ahead and store peppermint for just a second. And you know what? Let's grab crumpet, too. We're going we're gonna to put peppermint and crumpet. And crumpet is aloof, not interested in other dogs, cultivates a mysterious personality. We're going to clean up this poop, by the way. Uh, but we're gonna, we're actually gonna store Crumpet and Peppermint. We're gonna come up here. I'm going to... No! Okay, I'm going to put in... We're gonna remove... Here, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put in... The Jungle Food Dispenser, because that seems amazing. And we're going to put on the walls, maybe the starry wall for now. And then I'm going to come over and I'm going to bring out Peppermint and bring out Crumpet. And how do I... There they go! And now they're in the, their own little spot where they can grow up and we'll, we'll give them some very unique types of fruit that they could go ahead and try eating. This is so cool. Here, we'll go ahead and drag it over here. This is awesome. All right, guys. Well, we have little Peppermint, who seems to be very curious about the world and willing to go ahead and try new things. Uh, I'm sort of in love with them. Peppermint, are you giving it a good sniff? There you go. There you go. Good Peppermint, we'll praise you for that. And then, <laughs> Crumpet, where are you headed off to? So that's how you can start separating your puppies, I think. And meanwhile, Tiny's playing with that adorable toy. And then we have a, a den, which is amazing. I love this. What? Crumpet, how did you manage to get over here? <laughs> Crumpet, you goose. You're supposed to stay upstairs so I can start trying to, like, figure out how I want to breed you guys. Crumpet, come here. Can I, can I get, get back up here? Crumpet, get, oh, Crumpet. In the tube. There we go. Wait, did I just, like, yeet my dog? I, I yeeted my dog. I indeed yeeted the dog. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this very surreal and somewhat amazing adventure. If you guys would like to join me on this and literally thousands more as we continue to try to watch over our little puppers, hopefully watch them grow and thrive and become whatever interesting hybrid crossbreeds they are going to, uh, then do please consider subscribing to join me on this and thousands more adventures. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.